I'm Chris Cunin, along with my trusty bloodhound cat Jeeves, speaking to you from the deep woods of Appalachia. I must admit, our adventure to find the Bigfoot has turned out to be a little more difficult than we had imagined. Both Jeeves and I have foraged hill and hollow, meadow and mountain. We've even crossed raging rivers in search of the elusive Sasquatch. The dangers that Jeeves and I have faced have been unimaginable. But Mother Nature is not the only danger in these woods, my friends. As Jeeves and I have come to find out, we are not alone. What are you doing here, city boy? Oh, I'll tell you what. We have a few tense moments there for Jeeves and I. We thought we were about to be delivered. However, we were able to assure the young man that we weren't with the ATF and that his business right here on the mountain was purely his own. We then, after careful negotiation, were able to persuade the young man to use his vast knowledge of this area to help Jeeves and I in our quest to find the Bigfoot. Well, now that we seem to have an understanding, all right, all right, all right I thought maybe you could help me. You, you look like a local. You look like you live I around am. these parts. Yeah. Okay, well, my cat Jeeves and I, we're out looking for something, and, and I'm sure you could help us. Maybe you've seen it. Yeah. What, what we're looking for is probably 10, 11 feet tall, and it's covered with hair. Cover the hair. Cover the hair. That's my cousin Ricky. He's, uh, he's up at the house. No, 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 no. Not, not Ricky. Not Ricky. We're... 10 feet tall, covered with hair, stinks terrible, and, and, and got big feet, about 18 inch feet. Big feet. Oh, that's my wife, Berta. She's up at the field. We, we don't let her in the house much. But no, no. She's not. up at the field getting supper ready, pick potatoes, corn. You're welcome to come. Well, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. No, not, not Berta. We're talking about something that, that's half man and half ape. Half man. Oh, you're talking about the Bigfoot. Yeah, man. he's known around these parts. He comes around, he... He stinks to high heaven, smells like a possum sprayed by a skunk in the middle of June, I tell you. Yeah, yeah he, he comes up here messing with the dogs, he gets them riled up. He's always messing with my dogs and poor coon dogs. He, I tell you what, I hate that Bigfoot right wow. now. He just, mm, man. That sounds like who we're looking for. Where have you, where, point the way, which, which way, pal? Well... You see that pine tree down there? Yeah. All right? Yeah. Continue on down towards the tree line. All right, you're going to see an old wagon trail. Okay. Go into the wagon trail, the third deer trail. Third third deer, three deer trail, third deer trail. Third deer trail, turn right. Okay. Okay, follow that deer path all the way. Yeah. And it'll take you right into the creek. Yeah, and he's okay. down there? And he that's where he's at. Yes. Yes, well, I can't thank you enough. All righty. I can't thank you enough. This is great. Yeah. This is great. Come on, Jesus. Good luck to you. Thanks. Let's go, right. buddy. Let's go. Come on. And so, with this new information provided us by the mountain man, we set off in the direction that he pointed us. And suddenly, there in the soft mud of the creek bank, I saw a footprint which was eerily human-like but far too big to belong to just any man. I knew immediately that it could only belong to the creature I pursued. And so I grabbed my plaster to preserve the evidence. Many of you scoffed at me, my friends, saying that the journey that Jeeves and I were on was a mistake. But now I found irrefutable proof that the Bigfoots do exist here in the hills of eastern Kentucky. And Jeeves and I are more determined than ever to find one. Mm -hmm.